Ah, full moon tonight. All the better to shoot by. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die with your intrepid hero. Heroine, I should say. Paulina Punchwood here in Navasgain County, Arizona. Once again, she finds herself fighting for her life through the night, attempting to get to the morning. It's now day five. Oh, jeez. Trying to make every shot count. <laughs> Failing. There we go. In fact, why don't we use a hammer on this guy? <laughs> awesome. Alright. So, we're back. It's day five. It is actually opposite day today. We're starting out... Oh, oh, oh. Sneaky bugger. Starting out at night... Instead of during the day, we're going to work our way to the morning. After we clear out this horde here, we've got a wave coming through. It is about 4.30 in the morning. A couple more hours to go before sunlight. And relative safety and quiet. And we'll get a uh, moment of tranquility so that we can do some foraging. That, my friends, is what we've been trying to do since Alpha 6 has been introduced. I'm down to five rounds left for my rifle here. I think we're going to need a bigger boat. Let's try something a little different here, Paulina, shall we? Here, let's... We need to be a little more effective with... Oh, jeez. Yikes. Wait a minute. I, no, no, that's a bad spot. <laughs> All right, hold on. If they could... If I could just put this on somebody's head. Yeah, like that. Now we'll do my Sheriff Brody impression from Jaws. Smile, you son of a bitch! Woohoo! Let the smoke clear. Let's check the damage. Oh, not so bad. Not terrible, but not great either. Looks like we might have to get a little more creative. Let's try that again. Actually, let's head down here. Not too worried about this place frankly, because we are um, we're going to be moving in the morning. We're going to be leaving uh, Western Town, USA here. Old Mining Town, USA. Jeez, that's so loud. Here, guys. I could have sworn I placed that on somebody's head last time. If I could just get that right about there. What? Oh, yeah. Stand right there, hon. <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> There's a crazy hound over there somewhere trying to get in. All right. I want to preserve ammo because when we leave this town and we head... Um, geez, I'm not even sure. I guess we're going north. Ho, 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 ho. Ho there. Get you down. I would like to have some ammo. Did I reload my rifle? No. So that if we have to take back... A shelter from the undead will have some uh, ammunition to do so. All right, let's jump down here and get a little crazy. Make sure I have some loaded guns. Oh, here we go. Hello, sir. Can I hit you in the head? Save oh, geez. I just think I broke my ladder, didn't I? Oh, you're in a terrible... Oh. Uh, uh, back in that corner once again. Fighting for my life. Nice, nice, nice. All right, up. Oh. So yeah, we're gonna do this a little bit differently. We're gonna get through the night, and once the morning rolls around, oh, it's pretty soon. 6:40 in the morning right now. We're getting close. We're gonna work on our forging. Oh, jeez, look at this guy. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Man, they climb fast, don't they? That darn dog. I'ma shoot him. I'm going to shoot him good. Get over there. I don't want to use any more ammo. Let's use hammers. 
Once we get into forging, we get into iron, making our iron ingots, we can... Oh, man, I'm hurt. We can make some, uh... Make a really nice melee weapon, a sledgehammer. And that, my friends, is gonna... It's gonna show these undead who's boss. I'm gonna kill that mutt, because it's driving me insane. I'm going down there. Sun is up. If we have to run outside, no biggie. We should be able to make it relatively safely. Shush it, mutt! My god, where the heck was he? Alright, yeah, the shelter has seen better days for sure. But, not a problem. We are out of here. Check the hounds. They carry guns. <laughs> Survival dog. Whew. All right, can you hear me now? I hope so. Except for that stupid bug. These darn bugs, man. They make so much dang noise. Their, their sound carries forever and ever. Not much I can do about that. Let's, uh... Huh. Cool. All right, I think I'm safe up here for, for now. All right, let's, uh, let's do some forging, shall we? I, I want to do it up here on the second floor. We're going to make a forge up here where it's nice and safe. We're going to take this from the top because I had... Attempted to do this in the first episode, but failed miserably. So let's take it from the top, shall we? There's my forge. Just a bunch of stone blocks. Nothing special there. And as you can see here, I've done a little bit of organizing. So I also have molds that I made up in the first episode, but I did that kind of derping around off camera, and I didn't include that in the video because it was... Uh, um, it wasn't very helpful. It was extremely frustrating for me at the time, and <laughs> I figured I would just do it again in a future episode when I knew what the heck I was doing, and that is right now. First, before we get into the forging, let me show you guys how to make yucca juice, though, because I know in the last episode we talked about hydrating here in the desert, which isn't that easy. But if you have some empty jars and some yucca, you get yucca juice. So thank you for the folks out there to that reminded me about that. I, I knew that was possible. I just had forgotten. So real easy then to hydrate. And this will even restore a little bit of food. See that? Bam, nice. It's very pulpy and thick and juicy and lovely. And um, I'm sure it's pretty healthy and 100% organic and natural. Awesome. All right, now let's do the forging. So as I said, I've already made molds, but we're going to take this from the top. So you're going to need some clay. You can dig that up in the ground very easy, and it's going to give you lumps of clay. So we'll take our lumps of clay. In fact, I have some lumps here. So let's grab these lumps. You take your lumpy clay, and you arrange them oops, like so. Um, this arrangement here, these five lumps, is going to give you a lead ingot mold. And if you just move these guys up a, a tad, you'll get brass ingot mold and then if you arrange these lumps of clay as uh, such you will get an iron ingot mold so we are after right now the iron ingot mold to make iron ingots because you will find lots of scrap metal around in the world you'll find it just like that but you'll also find things like old hunting knives and pistols and hub caps and empty cans and these too can be converted into scrap metal. And then we're going to melt the scrap metal down into these iron ingots using the mold. So in order to do that, I'm going to shoot that bug, dang it. It's driving me freaking insane. If I could just find him. The problem is that their, their sound literally carries for miles on the map and is out of range of my rifle. So we just have to deal with it. Just pretend it's a mosquito buzzing around my head and there's nothing I can do about it. So let's open up the forge. Now we have seen this earlier, and over here on the left-hand side, we'll just review. Uh, on the left-hand side, we have our oops, our fuel slots where we can dump in some fuel to provide a flame with which to smelt and cook, etc. And we're going to do that momentarily. Here's where we put the metal, that being scrap and other items that will be melted down. And over here is the mold. So we have to put the mold in first before we put the scrap in, I believe. It doesn't know what we want to do yet until we put the mold. So let's make iron ingots. We put our mold in here, and it shows. And these fields populate some of them anyway. And it tells you how much metal is needed for a single iron ingot. So we need three pounds of metal. Now the only way to find out how much metal we have is by dumping it in here, my scrap. And as you can see here, I have six pounds of scrap. So it looks like one pound per scrap piece. So we have uh, enough to make two iron ingots. 
and I'm going to go ahead and dump in some fuel. I'm going to right click a few pieces of wood here because this will burn as long as there's wood in there. You don't want to waste the wood. So that wood that we put in there currently has a burn time of three minutes. That should be plenty. And now it is smelting. Awesome. Now while that's cooking, let's take a look at some items here that we can break down and make into more scrap metal. So a knife. Bang, that's only one, unfortunately. Um, we can break down old guns. I really wish there were a way to empty these handguns. Well, I know one way to empty it. Hello! I'm up here! Alright, well, we're not going to do that. <laughs> uh, we, we don't have much time. I do want to travel during the day today if we can to get to a new location. So anyway, break that down into scrap, but you may not want to do that because you can break these down into pieces. We're not going to do pieces of guns today. Uh, we'll do that in the future. Hubcaps can be broken down into scrap iron as well. And finally, empty cans. Uh, looks like eight cans for one scrap. Not a terribly good yield. But uh, it's good enough. All right. We need... We're going to need more iron than that. We still have some burn time. Let's go ahead and cook those up. Now that I have three iron ingots, why don't we make something ironish? And when we have this in our inventory now, the three iron ingots... Now, see, in the old days, we could make iron ingots just by putting scrap metal in here. It'll pop them out. So this, this kind of slows down your progression. And it makes things much harder to survive the first few nights anyway. So here's what we're really interested in, a sledgehammer. This is what I was talking about as far as a melee weapon goes. We get to play Hellgraf Frosthammer. Which, by the way, I need to get back to. Hellgraf wants to come back and play uh, my Skyrim series. And we'll do that soon. But that is not here nor there. Let's go ahead and make a sledgehammer. So that way I can now, I suppose, just get rid of the knives and the other things. This is going to last a good long time. And it's going to do some lovely damage. So I don't think we really need to, uh, to worry about the knives. You know what we need is some plywood for sticks. So let's go ahead and grab some plywood. We need sticks here to make more hafts and shafts and staffs. All right, three iron ingots. And we're going to need... Oh, dang it. We're going to need one more. Because I, I want to make a pickaxe. Which means we need to make um, okay one more iron ingot. And we need four for a pickaxe. So that's going to be our ultimate tool. We can get rid of the stone axe then. Oh, we, whoops, leave this behind. And we'll get the sledge. Um, I think we're going to leave. We're going to leave this stuff behind for when we come back this way. Oh, here's a knife. Darn it. Yeah. Oh, we can break trophies down into brass. And what... Uh, and basically, that's the same idea as just grabbing scrap laying around in the world. Unfortunately, I don't have enough brass to show you how to do that. I think it takes two brass trophies to make one ingot. Or one, one scrap, one brass scrap. All right. Um, but it's the same idea. You put stuff, you put the, put the molds in here and you drop in the lead or brass. And um, you can make... You can make additional types of ingots. We can also do like bullet casings. So I already have some here. Bullet casings. So we can eventually make our own bullets. But in order to make the, that mold, you need to take... You have to have at least one casing. So you have to have some bullets. And you can do that like that. Drop a bullet in here, you get the metal casings. Um, but to make that mold, it's the same as the, uh, the ingot mold. Um, we just have to figure out what the arrangement is here to get it just right. Just like that, with the bullet casing in the center. Not going to do it because I've already done that. So let's go ahead and get my bullet casing mold back. And I think, I think we're going to be ready to roll. Oh, let's just make up our pickaxe. We should have enough now. Fire axe is pretty handy too. But So there's the recipe. It becomes available when you have four iron ingots and some sticks. And this is going to be an excellent tool for breaking stuff down. And that'll replace the uh, the stone axe. So we're out of the stone ages, my friends. Woo! I'm just going to get rid of the knives. I don't think I need the knives. I, I, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut out right now. I'm just going to get ready to roll. Um, can't bring my forge with me. Not that that's a terrible loss. However, I'm going to bring all this... 
I'm gonna bring my glass jars. I'm gonna bring my water for hydrating. We need all this food. Uh, oh, we got an auger. Let's grab that. And so our heroine, Paulina Punchwood, surveyed the damage of her current shelter and decided it was time to vacate this old western mining town to find greener pastures. Hefting her two-handed hammer in her hands, she set out to find a new location, somewhere to the south, leaving old, following Old Mine Road to Huenincapoop. So let's go. <laughs> I have already pretty much um, salvaged everything here, I think. Did that off camera. That's why I was started in the middle of the night because I had done a little bit of off camera work. There's not a lot of time here, you know. As a as a day in the life of Paulina Punchwood, um, there's not a lot of downtime. We're taking one day at a time with this LP, and that's how Paulina rolls. So we just have to work as fast as we can and deal with the downtime. We will definitely get to a nice big base of some day. I know a lot of people just want to see all the advanced, or some of the advanced things like building up a big fortress, etc. We'll get there. We'll get there. But as this is a uh, kind of a diary style LP, we have to. These sorts of moments are important. The life and times of Paulina, traveling from location to location, sometimes running through the night to a, a shelter, fighting off the the undead, breaking the way in hastily putting up some boards and blocking the windows with rocks and, <laughs> and plywood, etc. <laughs> Come on, that's awesome. That's how we roll, baby. Look at that hammer. You would make Hellgraf proud, honey. Definitely. All right, let's head on down here to Hunaninaninik. Ma'am. There we go. That's a good look for you, baby. Uh, have we figured out how to unload guns? I don't know. I wish there were a way. I know you can break them down. It's easy enough, but I don't think we can get ammo out of them. By the way, I left that sleeping bag there, so this is my spawn point in case we die. You can only choose one at a time now. It's the last one, I think. Last one placed. As far as I know. That's what I saw in the change log, but it looks like I could click that, didn't it? I guess there's only one way to find out, and that's to die, and I'm not quite ready to do that. <laughs> All right, sun's going down. We got to get inside. By the way, we had some people mention that I could get water from the water tower back there here in the desert since water is kind of at a premium. Uh, I tried. I put empty bottles against it. I clicked it. I jumped on it. I licked the end of the, the pipe. Nothing. Nothing. Just rust. Just a rusty mouth. That's all I got out of that deal. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. But the Yuka Juice deal that thing is really kind of nice. Oh, that's nice too. Let's get our, an our ammunition going here. Our eight rounds to put two in. All right. Sounds like dogs. Whoa. What is this place? This is the old... I don't know if this was here from the prior alpha. I don't remember. Let's just take care of these hounds at range if we can. Ooh. Damn it. Ah, there goes all my rounds. Jeez, they're so flaky, those things. Um. All right, let me reload this. I'm going to grab this stuff here. Don't mess with the animation. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's just take this, let's reload, and let's get inside because it is getting dark, isn't it? I like to have ladders available in case I need to uh, run up something. There's another guard dog here. All the guard dogs died. Oh, jeez, where is he? These things are fast. Get him? I think I shot him in the arse. Oh, crap. I didn't... Oh! Man, I did not make enough torches. Let's just get in. Oh, no. There's another dog here. 
Yeah, I usually make more torches than this. Okay, I'm fairly familiar with this. Oh! Jeez! With this, uh, base. You call it. Oh, God. Oh! Just die already, lady! That ought to do it. Okay, they went right under my rocks. Right, that ought to hold them. I think. As long as nobody can get up here on the roof, except for the crawlers, we don't have too much to worry about. Let's get another torch out over here. I should have made more torches before leaving Western Town, USA. Typically, to have a few more on me. This is a good idea before you make a run for it. <laughs> I hear a bug. It's going to be a long night here, folks, up here on the roof. But I think we're okay for now. So we're going to make, you know, a relatively decent um, base here to get through the next few nights. I'd like to get some... Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. That's stupid. Can't shoot through a fence, I guess. Stop eating my bricks. Um, I would like to get some sharpened stakes at the bottom of this stairway, which is a fairly effective way to thin the ranks a little bit, as it were. Because that's part of the problem right now, is if, if you don't have any defenses set up through the night that are working for you and killing some of these guys. And man, if I can only reach them with this hammer, I could save on some ammo. Then, uh, you know, then you have to use up all your ammo to get through the night, which is kind of a... Kind of a shame. Now, how much wood do I have here? I think I'm gonna... Oh, I can't... Oh, I can't even make a chest. I was gonna try to make a storage chest, but I can't with old wood. So I'm gonna have to put things here. Why don't we do this, at the very least. It's over here by the torch, I guess. Um, now, I'm assuming that's gonna be... Oh, yeah, it took it away. That's what it does. Okay. Yeah, I took my tent away over here, my sleeping bag. That spawn point is no longer accessible. Alright, well that's cool, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and just kind of get settled in here. Just drop some things I don't need to carry around. These cooling units used to have scrap metal, they now have... Oh, okay, they still have some scrap and pipes. Um, which I'm not going to deal with at the moment. Let's just put that away. Um, no, I'm out of pipes. Let's just stack them all up. All right, here we go. Better get through another night. Get rid of the shotgun. Let's grab a shotgun with some ammo in it. There's a lot of loot here. In this place. There's all these trash bins on this side. Some of them have um, like sports bags and backpacks. You get a lot of ammo weapons in there. I have been to this place before. This is kind of reminds me of The Walking Dead with the fence around, you know, the TV show and AMC. Oh, we used to be able to break these down, these fences, and get, uh, get scrap metal, but it doesn't seem like they have any sort of yield anymore. They just bust them up and everything's gone. Now, this is a pretty solid building here. It's like it's made of brick. Oh, it's gonna take them a long time to get through there. If they can at all. I suppose they can after a while if they bang out of them. Oh, this thing doesn't have any ammo? Oh, geez, all my shotguns. I thought I had picked one up along the road here, this one. Now if you heal up, if you repair a shotgun... Oh, let me show you. So this, these two both... Well, this one is M... Oh, these both have ammo, okay. Let's find one that doesn't have ammo. So this one here is empty. This one has ammo, so I'm gonna repair these two. And I'm gonna make sure you put the one that you want. To repair well, the ammo on the left hand side, the one on the right is the one that's empty, and that will transfer those 
those rounds into that one there. Now, I'm not sure if these have any ammo. This one does not. This one has a few rounds, so why don't we just re repair this one? Uh, I don't really think I need it. Oh, hello! How did you get up here? Son of a gun! You must have stood on somebody's head! Gonna get that spa, Dave. It's the last thing I do. Whoa. Look at this little worm. <laughs> He's confused. Let me help you, sir. Alright, five o'clock in the morning. It looks like we might make it. Time, yeah, bam, bam. Ooh, oh, geez, look at this another horde. Oh, boy. Well, we can always do the gas can trick. Look at this poor hammer. Wow, that iron doesn't last very long, does it? You might want to make... You know, you may want to keep a stone hammer around. And I don't have any more stone to make a stone hammer anymore. I just might. I just might make a stone hammer. Alright, 6 o'clock in the morning. We're almost done. Look at this. Holy crap! I might have been wrong about that hammer. This one's actually pretty good. Rocks are going to be a heck of a lot easier to come by than iron, so maybe, maybe for a crowd of zombies like this in a mosh pit, you're better off just getting a stone axe. All right, let's go in and see what we can get real quickly here. Um, a 
that's not helpful. Surely there's some loot in this building. There we go. Pickaxe. Wonderful. And four ammo can't hurt. Shoddy ammo. Great. Everything that I already have. 300 rads at the moment. I think I'm okay. Take your time. Aim and shoot. Oh! Um, I thought this was 